Hello, and welcome to Toshiba. In our series of how-to videos designed to showcase some of the features and capabilities of our newest series of MFPs, this video will address one of the new features available on Toshiba's hybrid MFP that allows printing in both standard black and white and Toshiba's unique erasable blue toner. Today, we're going to show you how to erase the content that has been copied or printed with the erasable blue toner. Erasing a document can be done through the MFP itself or through the separate paper reusing device, the eStudio RD301. First, we'll show you how to erase using the hybrid MFP. Erasing is enabled on the MFP by default, but you'll need to add the icon to the home screen. Once this is done, you can erase through a cassette or through the bypass tray. Next, you need to assign a cassette to be used for erasing paper. Now, we can use this tray for erasing paper. For this demonstration, we have a stack of documents that have been created using the erasable blue toner. You can erase up to 400 sheets of paper in the cassette. We'll go to the LCD screen and select the Erase icon to start the erasing process. Select the assigned cassette and press Start. There can be a slight wait as the MFP must prepare itself for erasing. The erasing process stops when all of the paper in the cassette is depleted. As you can see, all of the paper has been erased. By using the MFP to erase sheets of paper printed or copied using the erasable blue toner, you eliminate the need for the separate paper reusing device. You also have the advantage of erasing larger size paper, such as A3 and Ledger. Next, we'll show you how to erase using the eStudio RD301 paper reusing device. We'll place a stack of paper in the feeder of the RD301 and select Start. For this demonstration, we are also including sheets of paper that have been printed in erasable blue but have been written on with a black pen or have been stamped with standard ink. In order to show how the RD301 can sort erasable sheets of paper from those that cannot be erased, as you can see, they were separated into different cassettes. By using the RD301 paper reusing device, you can sort paper between erasable and non-erasable documents. You can also scan your documents before erasing and send the scanned images to a repository for later viewing. The RD301 can also erase smaller size documents, such as statement size or A5, which could be a temporary document such as a pick list. Users have the flexibility of using the hybrid MFP and or the RD301 paper reusing device. By using the MFP for erasing, you eliminate the need for a separate device and can erase both standard and larger size paper. The RD301 provides the ability to scan and sort your paper for easy reuse of documents. We hope you found this how-to video informative. It's part of the comprehensive series that's available online. Thanks for viewing.